So we quickly whipped up this power adapter for the SIM1 computer, and my son is going to try plugging it in, and we'll do a smoke test. Power to stage one emitters in three, two, one. LED is coming on. Not sure what else to expect. Wow, it's the most complicated LED thing I've ever seen. I'm gonna check chips, see if anything's getting hot. Nothing's getting hot. I mean, we have a power light, that's about it. Yeah, Maybe okay. Maybe because it's missing some of those chips and the sockets over there? Well, this is for extra ROM. I think this one may have been a custom program by Richard Teitelbaum, the original owner of this machine. Actually, listen closely. Did you hear that little beep sound? It Do it little, again. Oh yeah, yeah, it made it sound. Let's try it again. So when you plug it in, it makes a little beep sound. I think that's a good sign. Ah, uh, and see what happens when we press the reset button. Okay, that makes some noise. Don't see anything on this display though. Okay, I spoke too soon. I just hit the number zero and um, this appeared. Y comma one oh? Yeah, who knows? Hit reset again. Okay, I'm gonna hit one. Uh, y same thing. one one. Yeah, okay, let's try that again. Hit, he said, okay, I'm gonna hit D. Now it says Y one D. That D looks so cursed. Well, you can only do so much with an eight segment display. Seven, or actually, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven segment display. Well, I guess eight if you count the little dot. Although there's a dot on the other side too. So, so maybe nine, nine. If you want to be a pedant. Yeah. Okay, so it looks like our display has some problems. So put in a bunch of eights. See, as you can see, I can type in eight, 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 eight. I can type in numbers going all the way across here from this display to the next one. But as you can see, a lot of the segments here are busted. Ah, uh, okay. Huh, so maybe we need to look into replacing those displays, or maybe there's some hardware that's driving this that's busted. Probably the displays themselves are busted because otherwise it would be fairly difficult to use this unit if we're missing a good portion of the lights here. Although I have heard there's a way that you can use this with an oscilloscope as a separate display. So maybe we can check out that. So it looks like these displays are available. Leave a comment below of what you think is more likely, that the displays are bad and need replaced, or that there's some circuitry driving the displays that needs replaced.